Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. This video is going to be focused on containers, how you interact with them, some tips in dealing with them, and how they can help you with your overall layout and give you some additional flexibility. And this is a dashboard we created, just dragging things on. And as we had filters come up, they showed up here on the, the right hand side. And when you're dealing with containers and dashboards in general, it's important to have a good idea of what you're trying to accomplish. And I'm going to say that this is what I am trying to accomplish here. I'd like to have a title on the top, a row of filters below the title, and then a sales by month, sales by customer. Those are the chart, the line chart and the bar chart. And then below that, I want to see the map. And you couldn't see it originally, but there's a data table and a tree map that are triggered by or switched using a parameter. So I want to have all of that. And if you look at this, it's very vertical in orientation, meaning we have a title on top, the filters, and then we have either we could do a column of sales by month over map, and then sales by customer over data tree, a data table and tree map. Or we could do a horizontal, another row, sales by month and sales by customer, and then below that, map and data table slash tree map. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a horizontal, put the sales, both those sales boxes on the same row, and then move the map and the data table slash tree map on the same row. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I may want the, the, the map to be bigger or smaller than the, the, sales, the sales by month above it. The other thing we need to be aware of is this data table and tree map, those have to be in a vertical container so that they can swap. So now that we have an idea of what we're gonna want, let's go take a look at the dashboard again. Off to the left-hand side, you may not have seen this before or paid much attention to it, there's item hierarchy. And I'm gonna just raise this up a little bit so maybe we can see a little bit more. And when I come into these dashboards, I start clicking on these to understand what it is I'm dealing with. This whole dashboard is tiled. And if you're just dragging and dropping things on, that's what you're gonna be faced with. And then we have horizontal, and you can see that it's right inside the tiled. And we're gonna, you'll probably get a lot of these. And then this horizontal, can you see that there's, all these maps are in one. And then we have a vertical, which is just over here. And this makes a little more sense as you've got these different bars that are different filters that are right on top of each other. Now, one of the first things I'm gonna do is you see this horizontal, it's taking up the whole page and it's the same boundaries as the tiled. What we can do to clean that up is right click and we're gonna remove the container. Not gonna remove from dashboard, you're going to remove the container and you can see that nothing changed. That was a container that was in a container that wasn't needed. So inside the vertical, here's all these buttons. That makes sense. Now let's take a look inside the horizontal. I'm going to put these up. So if we select tiled, um, and there's a case where we don't even need this horizontal again. If there's nothing underneath it, we can get rid of that. So we're going to remove container. And now we have tiled. We've got timeline, Pareto, and what's in here? Map and vertical. So this looks like this is another one of those things that we don't need. So let's go ahead and get, remove the container. And so now all of these items are under this one container, this tiled container. The tiled means that you're just dragging and dropping it and it, it, every time you drag an item in there, a dashboard item in there, it splits that area in half. And then you'll see here's the vertical. Let's see what we've got here. And this is where we have the two items that we wanted to keep those two together. You can't see this one here. When you select it, it shows it's highlighted. You can't see it here because we've, as you as of what we've got selected. So now we have a pretty clean look of what we want. What I'm gonna do is I wanted that vertical orientation. So we're gonna come back to the dashboard. 
you're going to grab a vertical bar you're going to drag this up till you can see where it's going and i want it at the very top right and when you do this everything's going to get smushed and that's fine so now what I need, I'm going to put in a title. I wanted to put a title, and as you can see, the whole thing's highlighted because there's nothing else in there. So I'm going to put title, um, German gas station sales. And usually on a title like this, I might do like a 26 or 28 bold. It's centered. And shoot, let's just make it colored. I like to do color just because it sets things apart. Okay, there's your, let me make it stronger color. Right now, so we have hash marks here. This is in this vertical container. We have a lot of extra space in here. So the other thing that we wanted, we wanted the all these filters to be on a horizontal bar, right? So we're going to bring a horizontal bar, and you can see where it's going to go. It's going to go right under that line, right under the title that we've created. And now it's got a big white space. And so I'm going to just grab this here, and I'm going to drag, and I'm going to press not shift here, but when you drag it, you can see it's going to fill up that whole bar. Okay. And then we're going to just grab this one from the top little three bars. And I'm going to drag it. And it's in the horizontal, so I can put it, you see that gray kind of highlight? I can put it in the front of the states, or I can move it to this other side and put it on the other side. I'm going to put it on the other side. And now we've got the two, and you can see here it's pretty easy. We're going to just drag again, and then we've got this button that we're going to finally grab. So this is the next thing we're going to need. See, it's all scrunched up. This is filling every all the whole area. At this point, what I'm going to do, this isn't about containers, it's but just how I like to do things. Under Customize, we're going to do, uh, do a drop down. And actually, let's see if we've got apply i'm going to do the apply button especially when you have states or when you have drop downs like this so it all pulls up i'm going to do the same thing for here i'm going to do multiple drop down and we have all this hatch mark we still have a lot of space here but this is all scrunched up so what i do you see this little pin that's fixing the width when you're in a horizontal, you can fix the width. Horizontal container, you fix the width. Let's just change this to edit width. Let's change it to something 200. And now there's a big space here. So what's happening? Well, it's filling that entire space, the rest of the container. Let's see what we've got here. So what we need to do is we need to grab a, a blank and we're going to put a blank here at the end. And once again, it scrunches up. So you can just drag it however, what size you want. So now let's go to the layout. We have under vertical, we have the gas station. And now for a horizontal, we have all of our items on this horizontal. Now you could move the whole horizontal wherever you want. And let's see what this one says here. You may want to... Instead of fit the width, you might want to fit entire view. Okay, so what's happened here? Well, this horizontal bar, you can assign a height to this horizontal bar as well. Let's do that. Edit height, let's say maybe 60. This horizontal bar, this is the width, is, hor is fixed. And the horizontal bar. You don't get that opportunity when you've got it tiled like this. You don't have that pin to give it to you tiled. All right, now the next thing we wanted to do is we were going to put another row of charts in here. So let's come back to the objects. We're gonna grab the horizontal, put the horizontal there. We're gonna grab the timeline and we're just gonna click and drag. And we're just gonna click and drag. All right, and so now this is, Tableau is saying, okay, well, I've got plenty of room and there's no particular height, I mean width on these, so I'm gonna do everything I can to fix, I mean to fill this all in. And we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is for the front, we're going to say edit width again, and let's just say 500. Or maybe we want it a little bit more, edit width, 
800. Okay. Now, this one over here is not fixed. You could fix it again, and sometimes when you're playing around with formatting, you want to, you may want to do that. Next option, I mean, next thing is we're going to have another row, right? Bring in another horizontal bar. And this is where I think it's going to get tricky. This is where it gets tricky because, all right, so we've got that horizontal. We're going to hide that. We've got that horizontal. We're going to hide that. We're going to bring in a horizontal bar, and it, we need it into the vertical, and sometimes it doesn't always work out quite like that. You'll see what I mean. So let's bring the horizontal bar in. This is under the tile. Can you see how it's splitting the map in half? That's going in the tiled section. Uh, this one is probably the tile on the top. I'll show you. So here's the tiled. And we want this horizontal bar to be indented like these other ones. So one of the tricks when you get in a situation like this, you could spend a lot of time messing around trying to get it just right. And what I found works best is just grab it and you drop it inside someplace that's inside the vertical container. Like here, you know it's you have those two horizontal containers. You're going to just drop it in the middle or you can drop it up above. And there it is. Now what you can do, because you don't want the charts up here, you select this horizontal container and then you just drag that up so that it's in the right place. Here, if you do this here, you're dropping it inside of the other horizontal container. Here, it's between the horizontal containers. You can tell because it's a smaller highlighted bar. And now we can drop the map in and let's see here, where is this? This vertical bar that's got both of them already, we can just grab that. You can put it on the right hand side, which I've got here, the shaded. And, you know, this is all scrunched up. So how do we fix that? We come here, we're going to edit the width. The other thing that we could do is we could pull this over. Now, I don't know if you can see that there's a little arrow that's showing up. If we pick this, it's going to change this into a tiled container. And we don't want the tiled container. So if you keep moving, because now with this, with the, you can, uh, you've got your vertical container here. And maybe this is too much white space. So maybe you, you're going to pull it over here. I really would avoid that there. And so there you have your chart your dashboard that has the containers that you want. And at this point, right, we talked about how you can only, you can get rid of these items that are inside, uh, containers that are inside other containers. And we can do that and nothing changes. When you come and look at your item hierarchy, it looks very clean. You've got a vertical container, which has everything. You've got your title on one line, your filters on another, your sales, and then your other uh, miscellaneous charts, I guess. I will do one last little thing that you can do with containers. Maybe we want a break. So now with tiled, I mean with these containers, we can drop a container right in here. And we're going to come to layout. We're going to just, this is going to become a border. We're going to Make it zero height or zero padding. Change the height to five. It's going to get really narrow. And then we're going to change the background color. Let's change more background colors. Let's do this. All right, so now we have a barrier, a visual um, separator between the top and the bottom. And you can add another one in between these two lines very easily. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.